if I can even hear myself. Let me just turn down this music. It's awesome, but I just want to make sure my information is getting across. Um, so yeah, like looking at this chart, it's crazy. You got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, Litecoin, NEM, and NEO. So you got eight coins over $10 billion in market cap, which is pretty impressive. Um, and you see, what, so what I was saying about is that last year was rise of the altcoins where a lot of these altcoins steam it included came to life and steam it was a top 10 proven cryptocurrency uh, the only reason it's not on this top 10 list here is because it has been you know all this new money has come in and you've got like like cardano number five 16 billion dollars i don't even know what cardano is exactly or how it came to be um, all I saw was that it took off <laughs> in, you know, December, uh, Litecoin, you know, up to $202 American. That's pretty good. Um, NEM has taken off. It's a dollar now. Like I remember when that was just pennies, um, stellar lumens, uh, you know, 46 cents IOTA, which is the internet of things, $2 and 95 cents. Um, EOS. Now this is the ERC 20 EOS token. Uh, Seven billion dollars is is held in EOS at the moment, uh, and the coin is about eleven dollars. Uh, Dash, another great great coin. Uh, Dash is just fast digital cash. Uh, Six billion dollars is in Dash at the moment, and the price is hovering around eight hundred and thirty five dollars US. Uh, Monero, five point three billion dollars in Monero, and and it's three hundred and forty four dollars. So. Um, there's a lot of choice now, and the big question is, what do you do? The newest person coming into the crypto space has no idea what they're looking at. They're thinking, well, here's Bitcoin, but it's going down, so maybe I should buy some Ripple. <laughs> you know, because they're hearing rumors about Ripple, and Ripple has taken off. You know, the last month, look at, here we go, $1.28 to $1.30 something, it's flickering there. So, you know, I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Now, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin are duking it out. Um, you know, you also also have Bitcoin Gold down here on the bottom. So um, you take your pick. I personally like Steemit. Steemit, I think, is uh, has the most potential. Uh, it it works, and um, I'm just gonna segue into the next segment because I usually don't talk for so long on these on D D Live. But I'm looking forward to doing my live streams, having some audience interaction. I'm gonna minimize my window here and have a look and see if I have anybody chatting in the chat. We got. B.I. Joy123, who says, wow, so beautiful. Your art. I like your post. I wait for your next post. Carry on with your life. All the best. Thank you very much, and to you as well. Carry on with your life, and I look forward to seeing some great posts from you on Steemit. Uh, we've got uh, So H-E-L Khan 007. He says it's a great post, and he's impressed to see it. Uh, he hopes everybody likes this post and he, he thanks me for sharing it. Thank you so much for watching uh, D live is amazing. I'm just gonna turn off the market cap for a second here and we're going to go over to Another area of This live stream
So this was my band. I, I'm featuring a lot of this stuff that I have. Uh, I'm looking forward to featuring a lot more and sharing all of it with you and, and the whole world. This is my band from 2004, Inertia, and I'm streaming it live from D Sound. And we're back. Okay, so let me talk to you a little bit about Bitcoin because I'm so excited about Bitcoin and right now the price is going down. So you're freaking out. You're going, what am I going to do? What do I put my money? What do I do? Well, just hold. Hold, my friends. Hold because Bitcoin is scarce. Bitcoin is limited. Now let me put this in perspective for you. There was $1 trillion in the U.S. economy up until the bailouts. And after the bailouts, they increased it to about five trillion dollars. They say about four, but it's about five trillion dollars. But let's just talk about four trillion dollars. If you divide four trillion dollars, so that's just the American. is live but I'm live streaming and running my computer to maximum capacity okay there is at the moment hundred and ninety nine point eight nine billion dollars in Bitcoin okay its dominance is thirty four point seven percent okay now don't think oh no Bitcoin is only thirty thirty four percent it's like not that great no it means that seventy six percent of the money in cryptocurrency right now is currently in altcoins 375 billion dollars so you've seen all this money move into cryptocurrency but is that cryptocurrency as good as bitcoin well who knows today because it's all red uh, you know bitcoin is down 16 percent ethereum's down 17 percent ripples down 27 percent is this working hello please leave me some comments if you can hear me talking um 
Bitcoin Cash is down 19%, Cardano is down 24%, Litecoin is down 16%, NEM is down 23%, NEO is down 15%. So all these top, you know, $10 billion coins, they're all down today. What is up? Oh, well, Tether is up 1.62% uh, at 24th position by market cap. Uh, everything else is red. There's KuCoin shares, KCS, number 32 by market cap, $1.1 billion in it at $12.96 a coin. Uh, they've got 91 million coins. I don't know if that's a, a finite supply or how they issue it. I'm not quite sure, but there was $21 million in volume today, so that went up 4%. So if you had moved anything into that, uh, you know, even Steam is down 26% today to $4, but that means you should buy some. That means it's a great deal. And if you, you know, like me, I watched Steam go up to $18, and the price of Steam was still low. Steam dollars was $18, and I could have traded quite a few Steam dollars for Steam, but you know, I've... I'm not, that's not my strategy. My strategy is long-term powering up, holding Steam dollars, holding Steam, uh, giving it away, really trying to benefit the community because as you can see, this is just the beginning of it and incredible, incredible platforms are being created. So thank you, DLive, for allowing me to live stream on this incredible platform of yours. I can't even tell if you can hear the music. Or maybe the song's just over. Okay, so back to the list. Steam is number 34 today, and uh, BitShares is just behind that at 39 cents. Um, and that's the end of the $1 billion club. Uh, BitShares and Steam holding up the, the bottom end of that. Um, so 36 and down, including Dogecoin, is under a billion dollar market cap right now. Um, but we're all still completely in the red. Um, Ignis moved 0%, but Doge was down 25, Waves was down 22%. Uh, Magic Coin. I'm just going to turn off this music. Because if you're still listening, you obviously want to hear what I have to say. This fantastic music is brought to you by YT Cracker, uh, soundcloud.com slash YT Cracker. And you can listen to all of his music that he allows Bitcoin people to use for free. He's given me permission to use his music in my streams. He said, do, do as you, you wish with it. So I'm so happy that he let me do that. Uh, so yeah, looking at the price over here on the side of my screen, right there, you can see $14,000. That's Canadian. And then down here, we have American. So this is the coin cap that I was looking at. So you got $197 billion in that. And altcoins, $369 billion overall. Uh, we're still holding strong, over $500 billion. So don't freak out because Bitcoin is not growing another 100,000% in one month. Right now is the time where if you have Bitcoin, secure it. Hold it. If you don't have Bitcoin, go buy some. Don't put any money into Bitcoin that you're not willing to lose entirely. But you can sign up for amazing platforms like Steam and you can just earn crypto for free by posting, doing what you're already doing on social media and just instead doing it on, on Steam it. Um, so back to the coin cap, because I really want to get through these coins, and it, it's so impossible to even look at these things. I know everybody's feeling kind of frustrated. So maybe here, on the bit, this year, we can we can have some discussions. I'm going to talk about the coins every day. Um, I'm going to post some coins research. I'm going to talk about new coins that I've discovered. We're going to talk about the best of the worst, uh, the best of the best, the worst of the best. Uh, we're going to talk about everything, and we're going to have so many people come on and do interviews on this show. I'm really looking forward to getting... Uh, everybody in here, um, including people on Steemit. Um, I'm in Canada, so I'm I'm creating this miners post to facilitate us, you know, Canadians to start out with because we're local. But then around the world, it's really not um, a country-based thing. This is a, a global phenomenon, just like email is global, Bitcoin is global, and I have friends through Steemit from all over the world, from, uh, you know, Algeria to Venezuela to uh, Sri Lanka, uh, you know who you are. So I am so grateful for the internet and for this technology and especially for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and steam it. So now I'm just rambling. So 38 by market cap is Waves. Waves is a fantastic platform. It's where I have launched my tokens. So this is a, a DSC USB. It's a Dark Flame Studios contract USB device. You need to have one of these to be a producer in the producer network this year. You get your digital portfolio on here, and if you're smart, you'll put your private keys on here, put it in a safe. This is uh, 
a basic hardware wallet is just a USB drive at the moment, but version 0.2 device is going to be a little bit more fully featured, and I'm looking forward to bringing you these things. Uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm dual mining. So I'm having these manufactured, these custom devices with my logo on it. Yes, my logo. And that cost me time and money. So I'm, I'm mining these physical tokens, and then I have... D digital tokens paired with each of these they're called DSCT and they're just utility tokens they have absolutely no value except that there's only 40 of them in existence and I will only create new tokens DSCT tokens when we create new DSC USBs um, so that's that's my digital portfolio project uh, merged with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, you can also buy incidental products like these uh, Bitcoin tokens which are only worth a couple bucks uh, for the metal value. They are not Bitcoins. I've also got several other incidental tools, uh, things like this that you can buy. Um, I've also got some special things that I've I've done some previews and shown you a few of these things, but uh, it's really for the insiders, and I'm really looking forward to creating something classy and professional, bringing our local business network together and talking about how we can actually collaborate and benefit locally and I mean locally everywhere, you know, around the world, you can benefit locally and you can share this with people in your community. I'm talking about Steemit here. Um, now, Waves is a platform. It's a decentralized exchange where you can go, you can load your tokens onto your portfolio, you can hold multiple assets, you can buy and sell as you wish because it's a, it's a decentralized exchange. And if you go offline, you close your, your Waves browser, well, then your portfolio, your assets are not available. To the exchange and i think it's a really cool platform i've launched my miners post rewards tokens which is another uh it's actually a crowdfunding token it's just a crowdfunding distribution okay your people i'm I, I, dark flame studios takes bitcoin donations um as well as any donations you know over the years um this has been pretty much a non-profit venture for me to have a theater company um and i as a sole proprietary trade that does audio video uh, production design and I work with technology um, these services that I have I will exchange for loonies <laughs> Canadian dollars but I would prefer Bitcoin this year honestly and I would prefer even steam dollars for my goods and services this year um, so this is the mo the, the direction that I'm pushing this and this is a preview this is a, a live stream I'm doing on my own channel dark flame uh, but I'm really looking forward to doing these live streams every single day and bringing you answers and not just rambling like I'm rambling right now. But you can get yourself some Miner's Post Rewards tokens on Waves by sending me either Waves or Bitcoin to help run this operation, to help do these live streams every day, to help promote Steemit to everyone in the community, to help take Steemit to 2 million, to 3 million, to 5 million users. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to be able to accomplish together as a team using all of this amazing technology, not just the live streaming, not just the Steemit, not just the Bitcoin, but you know, what ideas are we going to be able to take into the next decade and work on because honestly the last decade has been depressing the last decade has been war and conflict and economic problems and guess what that stuff's not going to stop unless we develop the local production based economics that are going to allow us to move into the 20 what is it the 21st century or the 22nd century i don't even know we need to move into the future today you know we have flying cars we have 3d printers we have all of these amazing technologies right and i think i really feel like the people on steam it the people in this community uh are the visionaries that are going to help move us into the future so what are you going to do with steam it i want to learn about your projects please comment below what are you working on with steam it right now what has been your experience, you know, even with Bitcoin. What altcoins are you excited about? Uh, let's talk about all this stuff. Please post in the comments. I will talk about what people are talking about. So I'm going to go back here and see if anybody's leaving comments. We've got a few more here. Um, Adity Abat says, I didn't know D Live was a thing. Wow. I'm going to follow your future live streams. Well, thank you so much. I hope you do, and I look forward to doing more live streams. This is really what I've wanted to do my whole life, ever since I was a kid. And now uh, my computer has been rebuilt. It's fantastic, and I can uh, I can live stream, I can mine, I can create video, I can do all of these things, and I'm not necessarily pushing it overboard, but I do have some more RAM here that I'm going to be installing, so it should make it a little bit faster. And I'm looking forward to hooking you up 
with uh, high-end gaming cards. Uh, at the Miner's Post, we're going to be promoting online gaming quite a bit. High-end graphics cards, helping people get in on gaming tournaments, and giving out lots of rewards for people who want to get in on gaming. Um, I'm really interested in what people are interested in. So if you love to game, get a hold of me. I'd love to feature you on the bit. You know, even if you're just a Steam It user, we can we can record some content. I'll stream it after the fact. Um, give me all of your ideas. I would love to make it happen. Um, so I'm going to end this little segment here by just going back to the main window and playing some music. <laughs> Can, we can the fact segment here by just going some music.
So, what I'm really trying to get covered today is all of these altcoins. Coin market... no. We're not looking at that. We're looking at my display capture for a second here because I'm going over to... I, I know you can't see them very well. Maybe I should put this over here. Oh, I can't see myself. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go through all these coins here. You can see kind of on the left. So this is, this is what I'm looking at. So you can kind of see over here. Uh, right. Okay, so we got uh, Magic Coin. $840 million in Magic Coin. Mage. And it's $115 a coin. There's only 7 million of them. But it did absolutely nothing today. So, I mean, that's better than better than negative 11%, which is what 0x, ZRX... Is that District X? $784 million in 0x, and uh, it's $1.55, down 11%. I'm just going to keep going down. You know, Augur is down 24%, Electronium down 23%, Dragon Chain down 12%, Veritasium down 23%, Komodo down 24%, Gas down 16%, Salt down 20%. Uh, Qcash down 25%. So you can see this is just, it's just red. Oh man, I'm going to keep reading it, but Golem down 26%. Digibyte down minus 32%. Tentacoin minus 27%. Arc minus 26%. Decred minus 20%. Smart Cash minus 29%. So tomorrow, or whenever these turn around, would be the time to uh, take note of which ones are moving up, right? Walton minus 13%. My, so like I'm just going down this list here and we get to Nebel. There we go. Nebel 96, 349 million dollars in and 22.25 cents per coin. Uh it looks like 12 million dollars sorry, 12 million 12.7 12 million coins and 61 million dollars of volume today. So that one's in the green, 17% up. Nebel don't know what it is, but it's something. Uh, GX shares uh, down 27%. Syscoin down 26%. Request network down 18%. Experience points down 30%. Kin down 26%. Redcoin down 34%. Next down 26%. I feel like I'm losing my mind, but I've only gotten to about 80 of these. Enigma down 26%. Game credits down 17%. Substratum down 29%. Digex Dow down 19%. Nexus. Oh, I've been looking at this. Nexus. $5.52 down 22% today. 55 million coins. $3.7 million worth of trading volume. Uh, let me just get through all of these. Uh, they're all down, okay? <laughs> Nebulous. Zedcoin. Bancor. Economy. Elf, a, a elf, and then the coin is called ELF. It, it's uh, down 17% today. Mediblock. Some of these medical coins, I think, are going to be really popular. Um, things like Polybius and um, Patientory. Uh, Mediblock. I don't know much about it, but it's only nine cents, and there's looks like two, right, 2.9 billion coins. So it's not exactly scarce, but it could have great medical applications. Uh, 10x pay down 26% at 255. So like today's a great day to buy. Don't don't look at the red and think, oh my god, Bitcoin is crashing and everything's crashing. Well, it goes up and down, and um, you got to keep your eye on it. So 10x pay down 26%. Particle coin 98 by market cap uh, down 27%. Uh, Quant stamp down seven percent chain link down 16 percent gnosis down 29 percent civic down 26 percent crypto uh down six percent now simple token st uh has a market cap of 245 billion dollars <coughs> that's million with an m it's only a dollar 21 per coin uh there are 201 billion of them and it's up 35%, so like, compared to everything else right now, Simple Token looks like today's winner. 
Um, I'm just going to keep going down the list, but we're going down into the, you know, below 100 market cap, like $250 million or less. Uh, so Civic is at $258 billion. Sorry, $258 mil There's so many numbers. $258.276514 million at 72 cents a coin. Civic has 342 million coins, and it's down 26% today. Oh yeah, sorry, Cryptonex. Simple token. Uh, Bitcoin Dark is 103rd by market cap at 244 million. It is $184 a coin, and there are only 1.2 million of these Bitcoin Dark, so BTCD. I have no, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what wallets you can use. I'm just going to play it cool and hold my Bitcoin this year. And if I end up with some alternative Bitcoins, like I could have some Bitcoin Dark. I have no idea. Did it fork? Um, X Play is down 17% to $0.24. Cents. Skycoin is down 10% to $33.82. Raiden Network is $4.77 per coin, and there's 50 million coins, but it's down 19% today. And man, like, everything is in the red. Like, this shows you how many of these altcoins probably don't have much behind them. And it's Bitcoin that you actually want. Uh, Xplay down 17%, Skycoin down 10%, Raiden Network down 19%, Bitcore BTX down 29% to $22.47, Digital Note down 36% to $0.03, cents. Uh, and it, it only has a $232 million market cap. Um, Coben Hood, which is Cobb, $0.65 cents a coin, there's 344 million of them and it's down 34% today. Block V is 14 cents, and there's a, oh, there's a million of those, or a billion of those, so you need to get like a thousand of them at least, so you're looking at basically $14 a coin, like, th that's the thing, like, you can look at, like, oh, it has a low price, but how many coins are there, and if you, if you divide the coins by the count, you're gonna get the mar, or, rather, sorry, if you were, divide the market cap by the coin count, you're gonna get the price. That's how it works. And, you know, when I do my chart and I, like, pull everything up, there's sometimes there's, you know, a couple dollars or a couple cents price difference. But the real question is, where is the Bitcoin? And I know that in some Waves portfolios, there's Bitcoin backing some of these tokens. But a lot of these tokens that are here, I don't know what they are. Are they proof of work? Are they proof of stake? Are they proof of brain? Like Steemit? Who knows? I'm not trying to trash any of them. I think that there's a great opportunity, and most of these coins are going to do fantastic, uh, especially versus fiat currencies. But um, I'm just going to continue to try to get through at least another 20 of these. Uh, where am I? Block V, 14 cents. Okay, Sant Santiment Net, S A N, is $3.24. There's 62 million of them, and it's down 31% today. Also down 31% is Buy Box Token, B-I-X, to $1.59, uh, $204 million in that coin. Navcoin has less, about half as many coins as Buy Box, uh, about the same market cap, $203 million, and it's $3.14 a coin. Uh, today's volume was $9.7 million, and it's down 19%. Bridgecoin, BCO. Uh, $7.50, and there's 27 million of those coins. It looks like a fixed number, so maybe Bridgecoin would be okay, but it's thir down 13% today. Do, like do the do, D E W, uh, is $2.03 with a market cap of $203 million and 100 million coins, 103 million coins, down 14% today. And then here's Pillar, the Pillar Project. I get emails about these, uh, but I never ended up getting Pillar tokens. Um, 89 cents a coin, 227 million coins, down 23%. Okay, so we got another green one. There's only been like three of them so far. We've got Quantum Resistance. Is that what this is? Quantum Resistance QRL. $3.66, there's 52 million of them available. Um, I really don't know what this is. Quantum Resistance, QRL. Up 27% today. Uh-oh, I 
lost my record cap. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're still watching. I hope I'm not being too boring listening to my voice drone on. I see I have some more comments. Um, uh, Muckman says, congratulations. Uh, Michael says, wow, that's a great post. Share. Rocky Khan says, I'm impressed to see your post. I'm awaiting your next post. I wish for your best of luck, brother. And Coranti... Cor Coriantin says, Excelente, muy buena la incentiva, éxito. I, I can't really speak Spanish that well, but, uh, I can tell that you are... You think this is excellent, and you think it's very good, and you're excited, and I appreciate your comment. Corianton, thank you very much. Uh, Gain... Shashanu? No, Gain Shashanu? Sh I, I apologize. Gain Shashau. Gain Shashau. Great post. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That is a great comment. And I appreciate everyone who left a comment. I feel like I'm rambling here, although I do see I have... Uh, two people watching me live, and that is fantastic. I'm just trying to go through all the coins. I believe my coin market cap is refreshed. Now I gotta scroll all the way down to 100. Would you like me to put my, uh... Here, let me do this. Hello. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna shrink myself a little bit, and then we can look at these coins. All right. I hope you can hear me as we dive back into these amazing coins. So we've got. Uh, Bridge coin, seven dollars and fifty cents. Pillar coin, okay. What? Pack coin. So this is a political action committee. Uh, I learned about that from the Colbert report. But the political action committees can basically go and lobby for the things you want in the government, right? So this is a political action coin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it has just under two hundred million dollars in market cap. Uh, and the cost here, look at this, it's not even a penny, it's point zero. So you can get a whole bunch of these, but look at the market cap. Or, sorry, look at the coin count. This is what you gotta look at. We've got thousand, million, billion, 2.5 trillion coins, right? So, oh man, you gotta get like, so forget about this being cheap. You gotta get like, well, let's move it over. So, three, six... Yeah, so like to make it even a significant, you're gonna have to get a million of these. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, they're like seventy-six dollars to buy one, basically. I mean, you could buy one, but you you're gonna want to buy a million of them. Otherwise, you know, the, the, sometimes the biggest risk is not risking enough. And if anybody can concur with that, please leave in, uh, a comment. Uh, but Quantum Resistance QRL is up 27%. $3.67 a coin, $14 million in volume today. Uh, fa fascinating, only 52 million coins. That's not so bad. That's not like 2 trillion coins here. I'm leaning more towards Quantum Resistance than the Political Action Committee coin. Um, Blocknet, $38 a coin. Down 17% today. PayPi down 14%. Storage down 28%. Vertcoin down 25%. Syrian Labs token down 11%. Stormcoin down 35%. iExec RLC coin down 34%. Poecoin poet. Oh, this looks like poetry. I like poetry. Poet. Coin. Eight cents a coin, two trillion coins, <coughs> down 28%. Edgeless. This is a casino coin. It's like super fair gambling. 
Because they always say that the uh, the house always wins. Well, if the house always wins, edgeless is a more fair gambling system, and I would love to do some edgeless gambling um, in in the studio if we can get the if we can get that put together. That would be a, an interesting project. Deep brain chain. This sounds interesting. There's 900 million of them. Deep brain implies deep learning. Um, computer learning, things like that, so this could be a computer coin. Um, remember that Sophia is now working at FinTech and other projects, and so I would not be surprised if she starts launching coins like this, and it's only 18 cents, but what if, what if Deep Brain Chain ends up being like, a, you know, 18 or $189,000 a coin? Who knows? Like, who cares about the supply when we're talking about machine learning, right? I'm just throwing it out there, it's down 15% today, so I have no idea. Only $14 million worth of volume. But still, think about it. A couple years ago, $14 million of volume was all of cryptocurrency, right? Like, it. this is, this is like Frankenstein coming to life. Engine coin, down 25%. E uh, INS ecosystem, down 39%. Ubique, down 22%. Uh, Revein down 23%, Red Pulse down 31%, is there any more? I really want to name them all, sorry, I'm, uh, this is a bit monotonous for me too. Um, Ethland down 28%, AppCoins down 36%, Dynamic Trading down 12%, Extra Bytes down 25%, AirSwap down 21%, Time New Bank. Nine cents. T trillion. What? Yeah, 1.6 trillion coins. Down minus 28%. Okay. Bitcoins. I was looking at this one not that long ago. Bitcoins is in the green. 41%. This is our new winner. Bitcoins is up to $1.95. It's had almost $10 million worth of volume today, and there's only 74 million coins. Um, I'd like to learn a little bit more about Bitcoins and what it does uh, 149 million dollars is in bitcoins so there's a great opportunity there um ant coin aragon uh the thing about aragon is that it's it's being used with different ecosystems like i think i don't want to quote on this but like certain projects are being powered with aragon and some other, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting what's happening out there in the space. But there's only 32 million of them. They're down 30% today. So it's a great opportunity to buy some under 5 bucks. <coughs> Peercoin, PPC, is $5.42. There's only 24 million of them, less than Aragon. And it's down 25% today. Uh, so we got 808 coin down 9%. Singular DTV signals down 31%. A chain act is 47 cents at uh, down 28 percent today there's 300 million of those coins simple token OST uh, is down 27 percent uh, as opposed to the simple token ST which is up <laughs> uh, vibe is down 33 percent but you trust UTK is up 10 percent so 67 cents a coin, only 204 million of these coins, so, you know, that looks pretty good. Uh, we keep going down the list, everything else is in the red, Counterparty, down 6% at 50 bucks a coin, Wabi, $3 a coin, down 18%, Ripo Credit, down 31% at 25 cents a coin, SonM, or SNM, is down 25%, 359 million coins, and they're only 36 cents a coin. Um, BitBay is down 33%. Gulden NLG is down 22%. Spank Chain is down 27%. Streamer Data Coin Data is 18 cents, down 21% today, and there is 667 million of those coins. I personally like scarce coins. Einsteinium is down oh hang on I skipped over our green one we got up 5% 5.93% with $11,000 worth of volume so that's not very much 
But, uh, yeah, there's five trillion coins, and they're two cents right now. So, you know, if you have 200 bucks, you could buy a thousand of these, and you might make some gains. I, I really don't know if you should buy coins that have such a high count, unless it's like machines or devices that are going to be using these tokens. Um, because we could definitely have, you know, a trillion devices connected to an internet of things, whether that's IOTA or a different coin that utilizes such a system, but we got Einsteinium down 29%, Centra down 31%, Cyber Miles down 24%, ADX down 28%, Zencash down 24%, ATM Chain down 32%, Modem down 20%, so this is why I say to people, don't buy altcoins. Because if you go and buy altcoins, you're spending your Bitcoin and buying a bunch of tokens. And most of the time, you're going to lose out. Um, decision token, HST, is 1% up. Now I'm just skipping through them, because we're down into the junk coins. Although, I shouldn't be saying that, because these are still coins that I like. Okay, we got... Let me go back up, I apologize. ATM coin, modem, naga, super entity down 28%, Q-Link down 18%, library credits down 31%, syndicator down 22%, centralized mana down 27%, lot chain, LTC or ITC it looks like, internet of things chain, I see, 38 million tokens, 2.74 dollars, 100 million dollars in market cap, and 22 million dollars worth of trading volume today. That doesn't seem too bad. Uh, Mobile Go down 15%. Viacoin down 27%. Triggers down 31%. District OX DNT that's down 27%. But I'm very interested in this project. It kind of reminds me of Fortune City uh, and GeoCities and Lycos and all those websites where you used to be able to host your web pages. It's not exactly what it is, but it reminds me of the culture of those early web communities. Uh, Unic coin gold is down 36%. Nulls is down 23%. Metaverse ETP is down 33% today. Decision token HST, yeah there you go, up 1%. Cloak coin down 12%. Wings down 30%. Tyran TNT down 3% at 22 cents a coin. Uh, Burst coin, 5 cents a coin, down 32%. Ambru Ambrusus, AMB, is down 24%. Pre-search is uh, 59 cents a coin, and 16% down today. Um, <clears throat> Ash, Zach, Z I don't even know how to pronounce this. A-S-C-H-X-A-S is one dollar, and they're down 18% today. 2.9 million dollars worth of volume, 91 million coins, 91 million dollars market cap not too bad melon coin 143 dollars 90 million dollar market cap less than a million coins this is actually very interesting i would buy a melon if you want there's only like a million people can't get a melon so if this is an actual coin with uh you know an algorithm oh look it does look at this there you go, there's your melon. It's down 30% today, so if this is a precursor to anything, maybe melon will go higher. There's only 599,000 of them. Um, Agoras tokens are $2, and they're down 26%. Oysters, PRL, a pearl, is uh, down to down 20% today. Lambden Pal, 29% in the red. Block Cat is down 18%. Ether Party Fuel is down 28%. First Blood is down 37%. Hemp Coin THC is down 31%. Edo, Edo Coin, $3.85. 26% down. Metal is 28% down. Bread is 26% down. Hive is 30% down. Rise is 31%. I mean, like, everything is red. So we got Rise, Wagner, Descent. Voxels, I like voxels. Voxels are a coin that I'm very interested in, and it is taken off. <clears throat> I'm going to be using voxels in the new year with my new, when I get it, my new um, Oculus headset, and I'm looking forward to developing games using Voxelus. So if you're interested in that, get some voxels. They're only 34 cents right now. 
and I would love to work with you on a project. I'm going to jump back over to the uh, DLive stream. I see I have a comment from xdark21. Interesting to see good DLive. Good job, man. Thank you very much, xdark21. It's been a while since I've talked to you, but I appreciate the comment. Hmm, let me get through this. <sighs> I gotta open my window. It's hot in here. Alright, what do we got? Um, everything is in the red, so cross, cost down 30%, mine x coin down 19%, ix ledger down 22%, oh, i o coin down 29%, licky, lkk is down 4%, shift is down 20%, pura down 16%, genesis down 18%, name coin down 23%, lunar Minus 23%. Whew, this is going to take forever. But now we're into the under under 50 or under 100 million dollar area. So I'm just going to quickly go through them. Aeon, Genesis Vision, Co-Founded, Lunar, Namecoin, WeTrust, PreSearch, Coindash, Mooncoin, MediShares, Grid, X, Grid Plus, SpectreCoin, Salus, Gifto, uh, BitCNY, Feathercoin, Datum, TAS, Token Card, Xenon is up 58%. Xenon, $62 million market cap, 21 cents a coin, 300 million coins, up 58% on $15,000 volume. So that just shows you the 24 hour trading volume. Uh, it can be up a lot, but that doesn't necessarily mean a lot of money moved into it. But still, Xenon coin, who knows? Uh, PayPen, or sorry, PayPex, PayX, down 8%. Um, Grossel, Gro, Gro, Groessel coin, GRS is down 30%. Voice is down 35%. Eboost is down 39%. Safe Exchange, down 49%. EverX, down 20%. GinX, down 33%. Flash, down 15%. LA token down 25%. Uh, we're getting there. There's like a thousand of these folks. Solar coin. This is a very, very interesting coin. Solar coin here. Check it out. Solar coin. Uh, it's down 22% to date, but that's not too bad. Pepe Cash down 17%. Inc. Uh, 611. 611. Uh, it's $1.19 a coin. There's only 43 million of them. And $3,000 vault uh, increase in when you, somebody put $3,000 in it and drove the price up 17%. So that gives you some perspective of something's going on here. Um, did I miss Steam Dollars? I don't think we're there yet. Where the heck? Oh man, there's so many coins. Oh look, here's Steam Dollars. Wow, look at this, 27 million dollars. You guys realize that this is half what it was just a few days ago? People are cashing out their Steam Dollars. But there's only 6.2 million of them. And look at this setup. Look at this decline here, okay? Do you realize what this is? It has always been about a dollar. For Steam Dollars. This $18 peak here, oh man, that, that blew my mind. And we have been cashing out, but I don't think you should. I mean, look at this. There's only 6 million coins, okay? They're $4 right now. There's only $27 million in Steam. Now, for any of you who are aware of the smart media tokens, we're gonna need smart media tokens for the uh, for the SMTs. So if $18 Steam Dollars is any um, prediction of what's gonna happen, I think we are going to see a huge takeoff after this. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm the only one who has over 100 Steam Dollars at this moment, 
but I'm not going to be getting rid of those Steam Dollars uh, yet. I am acquiring them and I'm holding them. I'm even considering powering down some Steam and converting it into Steam Dollars. But what I'm trying to point out here, looking at this $27 million market cap, okay? So let's just say, <clears throat> I'll show you the calculator here. Let's just say out of 400,000 users that there are now, and I'm user 50,418, let's just say 10% of them are invested in Steemit for the long term. And let's just say 40,000 people on Steemit put in $100. Okay, that's $4 million more, right? A $4 million increase will take Steam dollars over 30 billion dollars or sorry 30 million dollars in market cap again right driving the price higher all of us deciding hey you know what i have this hundred dollars in some cryptocurrency that's not really doing much right now like i do and i'm implying that i'm planning on putting maybe a hundred dollars or more into steam dollars and that i'm suggesting if you believe in steam it if you have some cryptocurrency if you have some um, anything, <laughs> things that are in the red today, maybe, uh, maybe you made some profit last month and you want to cash out a little bit. I'm not suggesting you sell all of your Bitcoin. I'm not suggesting you move any of your money anywhere. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking about doing. And I believe that, um, putting a hundred dollar bet on steam dollars at this point where it like I thought it was I thought it was at least 40 million dollars and market cap still but it looks like people are cashing out their steam um, let's just look at the steam price for a second here I'm gonna look at the charts so you can see exactly what I'm showing you <coughs> so four point this is Canadian but I'm Canadian so I'm gonna talk about this in Canadian um, this price right here 14,300 is the Bitcoin price in Canadian uh, but these are in US, the capitalization, and of course the uh, overall. <laughs> but you have Steam at $4.97, and we have Steam dollars around parity. $4.97, $5.60. So that, that difference we had there, right, where you could exchange like 18 Steam dollars for 4 Steam, that's over. And those opportunities come, but when you see them, you gotta take it up. You know, take that risk. And the risk is if you, you know, move your steam into steam dollars, and then steam dollars goes down and steam goes up, in you know relativity, like who knows? Nobody really knows what's gonna happen. It's a free market. But um, what I'm implying is that I'm gonna buy some more steam and some more steam dollars. Like, look at this. Let's look at the 90-day chart. Okay, the this is these are Steam dollars. So you see a dollar, a dollar. I was thinking I'm gonna get some more of these. I need to get some more. I'm just waiting, just holding off. You know, regret. And then it took off, and it's like, oh, two dollars. Well, maybe I'll wait till it goes. Oh no, it's three dollars. Maybe I'll get some when it's cheaper. Oh, oh no! And I looked when it was here. I saw it when it was here. I was like, oh my goodness, maybe I should and. And my girlfriend, she said, oh, you should buy some Steam. And Steam was about $4 when this was 18 bucks. So let's just go back to that date. What is this? The uh, 18th of December? December 18th. So, yeah, there it is. So, December 18th, Steam was still under $3. So, even if all I had done was exchange my steam dollars which I didn't have very many of at, the, at that particular moment I had a few but uh, I have more now uh, but you know three the exchange rate between you know three dollars and 88 cents to eighteen dollars for this one right and now it's now it's leveled out now it's about five dollars for steam dollars and about five dollars for steam but I believe that this like, let's look at Steam. 1.2 billion dollars is in Steemit. <laughs> and 35 million Canadian is in Steam dollars. So, you know, this is tiny. This is like, 
celebrities' houses are more expensive than this. Like, I bet there are people in this house who have more than 35, or, sorry, there are people on this Steam It platform, there definitely are, there's people who are watching this, maybe, who have more than $35 million worth of assets. And, uh... What I'm saying is that there's a great opportunity right in front of you. You don't have to worry about all of these, you know, hundreds and hundreds of altcoins when you have something that works right here. And if you go all in on something you know, and something you trust, and something you believe in, and something that's useful, and something that's proven, right, you come in here and you can say, well, I can put $149 in here at one point, and I could have got a thousand steam. And that thousand steam would be worth almost five grand today, even at the five dollar price. So I feel like I'm ranting a little bit now, I'm just rambling. But I want to bring you awesome news. I've covered a whole bunch of these coins this morning. I've talked about a whole bunch of different things. I've rambled a whole bunch. I've read some comments. Um, I would love to just go live all day, and I will. Uh, in future episodes, I'm looking forward to it, but uh, this broadcast here, it looks like it is an hour and ten minutes. So just to save space on the reload, I'm going to make sure I end it right now. Hey, thank you so much for watching. This is the bit your upvote. Support this. I'm looking forward to bringing you some great new content and talking to you all through Steemit. And away we go!